Good morning! A little bit of a jump scare here, but I have like a few dark spots on my face from old blemishes and I've been using this mask, this LED mask to get rid of them <laughs> or to help fade them. I'm using the blue light today. Just wanted to start off a new vlog, so welcome to another vlog. Can't even lie, I am not in the mood for this workout, but we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna do a 12, 3.30 today. So I'm gonna change into my workout clothes and then we're gonna drop Leia off at her school. Today is President's Day, so they don't have any school today, but they're doing something with their track team. So I'm gonna drop her off and then I'm gonna head to the gym. Operation Unbig My Back starts now. It's really a matter of get rid of my chest and unbig my back or the other way around. You really gotta pick your poison. I'ma go with unbigging my back. <laughs> I used to be part of the itty bitty titty committee and I was a-okay, so yeah. Do you know that mom's leaving? Is that why you're looking around the corner? <laughs> you're so funny. I'm gonna switch purses. What would you do if you didn't win? I guess we'll never know. What would I do if I didn't win? I, I guess, guess we'll never know. know. We got the fly SLs. The YSL dupes. I'm gonna put on some of this Summer Fridays lip balm. This one might be my favorite one. It's the mint one. I just like that minty feeling. And then for fragrance, I'm wearing this one. It's called Missing Person by Fleur. I got it in my advent calendar during Vlogmas and I've been wearing it and I really like it. It smells very like fresh. It's a very pretty scent, very lightweight, not too overbearing, but you'll smell it all day. I'm gonna put everything in this bag because this one is just, it's the um, the YSL Hobo bag and it just, like it holds so much space in here. I'm gonna put my headphones, my scrunchie, and my phone. out of the shower and I just put on some comfy clothes I'm just 
combing my hair out a little bit. It's been so long since I've done a 12 to 30 workout. I always talk about this, but I just am so fascinated by the human body. When I say it's been a long time since I've done a 12 to 30, it's been years. Not to say that it's a very hard workout or anything, but um, just the fact that, you know, it's been years. And yeah, I've worked out, done cardio and stuff. So that probably helped um, with like my endurance, but it's just the fact that like originally when I got on the treadmill, I was like, I was like, oh, 30 minutes is gonna be a struggle. But I didn't start to really like burn until like the last 10 minutes. I mean like sweat. I just find the human body to be so, so fascinating. Like we can stop doing something for years and bounce right back in a matter of like, just by doing it you know that was all that i did today and then i just did a little bit of stretching came home took a shower put on some comfy clothes and now i'm just putting on some brow gel i gotta go and pick leah up in a second and then i'm gonna come back do a little bit of work on my laptop today's monday and we got a response to some emails i gotta edit a vlog that i want to go live today a lot of work on my website um kind of like playing content as well as playing my week i'm going kind of dumb with the brow gel but yeah i want to like plan my week also so i got work to do i'm so proud of myself and just the fact that like i've been putting more effort into my content and i've just been more active on all of my platforms didn't think that i could do it not that i didn't think i could do it because like i honestly believe i could do just about everything but i wasn't putting as much effort in before i should have washed my hands before doing this jeez but i wasn't putting in a ton of effort before and it made me feel like maybe I just couldn't do it. But now I'm like, it's a piece of cake. Well, not a piece of cake, but now I'm just like, it wasn't as bad as I thought. So yeah, been way more active on my platforms and it feels good. Also, because I know someone's gonna ask, the mask that I had on earlier is by the brand Patch, um, Patch Beauty. I did a sponsorship with them a long time ago. I was using it a lot at one point and then I kind of slowed down on it and now I'm just getting back into using it again because I got some like blemishes that I want to fade. We used to use LED lights when I was in school for different skin concerns. Like I think green is for acne, um, red, I forgot what it's for, but it says it like on their website, but we used to use like a handheld one. So the mask is more convenient because I don't have to, you know, stand there and I can just have a mask on and be able to move around while I have it on. I'm not going to do too much with makeup today because I really just want to let my skin or let my face breathe. But I do want to put on a few lashes. <laughs> Super good sunscreen stick. If you have blemishes on your face, make sure that you like wear sunscreen anyway, but especially if you have blemishes on your skin, because once the sun hits them, guess what happens? The same thing that happens when you go out in the sun, what happens? Your skin tans, right? It gets darker. What do you think is going to happen to those blemishes? You guessed it. They're going to get darker. So wear your sunscreen, my love. Also, I don't know if I told you what fragrance I just put on. But it's the Kayali Utopia Vanilla. And I also have on the Fenty. Um, oosh. Oh my god, my favorite ring almost just went down the drain. But I have on the Fenty this one. I think it's in warm vanilla or something. Cinnamon, something like that. And I moisturized with that as well as my body oil. And I'm gonna put on, I'm gonna use this Refi Gloss. Mmm scratch the lashes we are gonna go in with the oh rare beauty mascara and i'm just gonna put it on the corners or the outer part of my eye and as if my skin is not glowing enough i'm gonna add this tatcha dewy skin mist this is my favorite stuff right now my favorite product right now and I just only like to spray it on like the side of my face. Wait until the summer, baby. I'm gonna be a glowing goddess. Wait until the summer. With this stuff, I think I need to put like one more spray. Okay, all right, that's good enough. I need the big bottle though. 
because I I'm like halfway through this I mean not really whatever it's a refreshing hydrating spray it says moisture retaining I say you only need two to three spritzes but maybe I'll be doing like five or six spray it onto the face for a boost of hydration and glow under or over makeup I love looking glowy I love looking dewy it's so funny because um a lot of people are like i'm oily my skin is gonna look dewy anyway but honestly there is a difference between looking dewy and glowy and oily and if you're an oily girl because i'm an oily girl if you're an oily girl then you probably know what i'm talking about let me put my socks on i need to go actually you know what else i have hold on something is in something else that i have and i actually use this on like I use this one on my body but if I ever have any skin showing like as you guys can see I'm kind of glowy already but I have this um, Laneige skin mist and you can spray this like on your chest sometimes I'll do this like whenever I have something like if my face is really glowy I like my body to be glowy too because it just looks weird if your face is dewy and your body is dry or and vice versa I spray that on it's a um skin cream you can spray it on your face too but i spray that on and i just kind of let it dry i don't like when it's like dripping though i don't like the look of it like dripping but do you guys see that so good i'll have all these products linked down below too for anyone interested but once it dries then i can move my necklace back it's not really dry yet but i'm gonna just lay my necklace here and it just looks so <laughs> just look dewy fresh okay all right, I'm gonna go put my socks on and then I'll show you guys my cute, comfy outfit of the day. I have on this quarter zip um, pullover that I always wear. It's from Boohoo. My sunglasses are the wise hell dupes, the fly as hell. I should call them the fly as hell dupes. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, the fly as hell dupe sunglasses and then these leggings. I don't know where they're from, but they're like a dark charcoal gray. What is on my butt? What? What is this? oh my god i have on my gray slouchy socks we're just all gray today and then gold accessories because we don't care to mix metal why is the hobo bag and i'm gonna put on these um new balance y'all don't these remind you so much of the sacconis if you were a sacconi girly or boy then you know what i'm talking about but don't these remind you of those oh my god i miss those days <laughs> but yeah i've had these for years maybe like eight or nine years they are super super lightweight so we're gonna put these on and they have the gray on them also cute but yeah i'm gonna put these on i have to go pick Leah up and then i'm gonna run to the grocery store really quick because i have to get a couple of ingredients that i need for dinner tonight i'm making some like shrimp pasta i don't know but we're gonna run to the store get the stuff we need and then um, I'm also thinking that I want to make banana bread. I have some bananas that are gonna go bad soon. So make some banana bread. Like I said, come home, edit, do all that. to live in Hyde Park and we would go around the corner to Village Foods and they had these and my aunt would buy us all like all like the kids these and we just thought it was the coolest thing because they were glass bottles <laughs> y'all talk about nostalgia back home and I'm gonna do a quick little grocery haul. We got honey wheat bread, sourdough bread. I always like to get the sourdough bread because it's baked fresh and I don't know, it just tastes better. Some flour, dark brown sugar, rigatoni noodles, a red onion, a lemon, salad in a bag, cherry tomatoes, salmon, shrimp, heavy whipping cream, tomato paste, some more of the Stoke cold brew, vegetable broth. I got this bottle of celery juice. I know it's gonna be disgusting, but Two of the clearly 
Canadian. I got strawberry flavor and cherry. All right, I'm gonna put this stuff away and then I'm gonna start making the banana bread. almost two o'clock and I made myself a coffee I'm still trying to get through all of my winter pods but this one is caramel and it's actually pretty good and I always sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on top of my hot coffee and it really just takes the experience up another level came upstairs because I'm going to sit down on my laptop and really get to work and start going over like emails i didn't have a crazy amount of emails my guess is maybe people just aren't in today because of president's day hello hello this is malaya 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 this is a parent mm -hmm. so that works out malaya's appointment got pushed back to five instead of four so i have some time to sit here and work on my vlog but the banana bread should be done in about 30 minutes. Leah also has tumbling today, but it's not until 7.30. So I really want to get at least majority of the vlog done before I have to even take her to her dentist appointment. This morning, I actually got up because, I don't know, I've decided that I kind of want to change my intro. Don't get me wrong, I really love my intro, but I grow tired of things over time it's like okay what's next so i was thinking like maybe i can just change the song or i can simply change the intro so i'm gonna test out some different intro styles and see what it is that i like or which one i like best or maybe i'll just stick with mine who knows but yeah anyway i'm gonna get to work do some editing and stuff and then i have a few more edits to make on the vlog and then it'll be going live you are not wearing pajama pants to your dentist appointment it's right there no i'm bringing bringing my book with me so that i can get some more reading in i forgot to get grated parmesan so i couldn't start cooking yet so i had to place an order it should be here by now honestly but yeah I was waiting on that to come but the banana bread is done and it turned out so good we just have some saran wrap over it but it turned out Pretty bomb, if I do say so myself. Having golden hour right now. Hopefully, I ordered, I had to order Milo boy some more food and I ordered him some more treats and I ordered my Parmesan. So let's see if it came. Nope. Oh, you know what? It said between five and six, so we got like one more minute or an hour i don't know
sunset. Absolutely gorgeous. And then this one. these treats for Milo Boy. <laughs> Whenever It's beef and chicken, babe. Whenever you mention that you have a treat for him. Look what mom has for you. I'm gonna break it. He licks his lips. You okay, stay sitting. You stay, you can't jump up. There you go, this is sweet boy. Do you like that? Mm -hmm. We're gonna do some paprika. Do you want me to fill this in? Yeah, you can some garlic powder. Instead of salt, I'm gonna do a little bit of onion powder. The recipe calls for salt and not onion powder, but I like onion powder better. And then we're gonna do some pepper. And then just kinda toss that around. Hi you guys, um, I'm not too sure if this is going to be the start of a new vlog or if I will attach this to the vlog that you guys see before you see this one, but I just wanted to pop on and get on here because I never ended off the vlog. I never picked the vlog camera back up yesterday because while I was at Leia's tumbling class, so I think the last clip you guys would have seen from me was me sitting in the car reading. So I ended up going inside and I usually, if I go in, I will go in like toward the end because I don't like to be a distraction for her. Yesterday I ended up going in and she was like, mom, record me. I'm like drawing a blank here, but she went to do one of her stunts. Um, I know that she was finishing off with a tuck and she landed, she does two flips and then she goes into the finishing flip, which would have been the tuck. And she lands on like her, the back of her head 
like her neck area. Thankfully, she was on the, if you guys have done gymnastics or tumbling or whatever, or have kids or whatever who have done it, then you know that the mats are kind of like, they're like this like spongy material. It's still hard, but it's like a bit spongy. So she kind of like hit it and she bounced. Whereas if she would have been on like concrete or flat surface or floor, she would have probably just, she wouldn't have bounced. She would have just like, you know, smacked it. So thankfully she was on the tumbling floor. It just could have been worse, but she did end up with a concussion. Last night was just, we ended up rushing to the ER because if you guys have had a concussion before, you know someone who has, then you know that they deal with like memory loss almost like immediately. And so Leah was kind of, you know, panicking. I was staying calm, but I promise you, like, I don't know, like my maternal instincts were just remain calm. This was my baby that this was happening to. So I was like dying inside. Like I have never known anyone who, or known anyone personally who has had a concussion or, you know, dealt with anything of that nature. So I was not really familiar with, you know, the effects like that, which I mean, I guess my child is an athlete. I should have been, you know, better prepared, but I just wasn't. It was very scary. Like the initial reaction, because you could tell she almost had like this like blank look on her face and she was hysterical because she couldn't remember things like our address. I don't know, it's like making me emotional thinking about it, but we, went to the ER, her dad and I, she had like the CT scans done and everything. And so there is no like bleeding, there's no fracture, nothing like that. Like I said, you know, we are so, so, so thankful, I'm so grateful that it wasn't worse. <laughs> Thankfully she was on the tumbling floor. So, you know, she was like saved by that, but I'm so grateful to God that it is not worse. So this morning, she's such a trooper because the doctor was like, you know, uh, maybe keep her out for a couple days, whatever. And so I was like, okay, you know, Malaya, don't go to school. You can't go to school today. But she's just like, mom, I have to go to school. Like she doesn't want to be behind with the work. She gets her awards today for track. So she's like, she just wants to go. Like this morning when she woke up, I was quizzing her again, you know, asking her questions that I was asking her last night that she couldn't really answer properly. And she was able to, you know, she remembered a lot. That was so crazy. Last night was so crazy. I just, I was like, as a mom, like it just really, it was so hard for me. You know, I even had to go into the bathroom and like cry it out because I did not want her to see me like that. And then I pulled it together and went back in and was, you know, like, yeah. So she was a trooper. Um, she pulled through everything, came back fine she just has like some slight like bruising whatever so we've been icing it following the doctor's orders and she's gonna be okay i just wanted to let you guys know i'm like i really want to vlog every day and you know do kind of like a vlog week but with this happening that just like threw everything off and things happen and i'm a mom and <laughs> my baby comes before any and everything so everything else had to be put on the back burner which i know you guys will understand i'm not worried about that at all but yeah like i said she is gonna be okay all prayers are welcome she's so dedicated so determined she's like mom i'm not gonna practice today but i want to go to practice and just kind of cheer the other girls on from the sidelines and i'm like okay <laughs> she just makes me so proud like all the time she makes me so proud so i just wanted to kind of give you guys an update and let you guys know what's been going on the baby has a concussion by the grace of god you know all all is well so we can't do anything but praise him and thank him for his glory and that's all i was doing last night i could not sleep i barely got any sleep i was waking up i kept like going in there and just kind of checking on her putting my finger under her nose but yeah she's okay so i just wanted to let you guys know that but i did just make myself a coffee this white chocolate mocha creamer has me in a chokehold i used the stoke um cold brew and the chobani creamer the white mocha one it's just so good. I also have my little celery juice. I bought this yesterday. So I think I'm gonna have maybe a couple. I don't wanna drink the whole bottle. I kinda wanna just have like half. So after I'm done with my coffee, I'm gonna drink like half of this and then maybe save the other half for tomorrow. I'm just chilling on the couch. I don't have it in me to really do much right now. I'm going to finish off my vlog. I didn't even upload a vlog yesterday. Um, so I'm going to finish off my vlog that I filmed on Sunday and that one's going to go up today. And then the one that I vlogged yesterday will go up tomorrow and 
if this footage doesn't make it to the one that is going up tomorrow, then this will be the start of a new vlog. Milo and I are gonna sit here and watch Love is Blind. I actually started it yesterday while I was at the gym and I'm only on episode two. I'm gonna call my cousin back cause she wanted to watch, like she and I always do this thing where we sit on the phone, watch a movie, watch a TV show and we just have our little commentary because she lives like 40 minutes away from me so we don't always get to hang out but yeah, we, we make a way, okay? <laughs> so we're just gonna probably sit on the phone, watch some um, few episodes and then I'm gonna go upstairs and finish editing. I only have like a few minutes left on the vlog so I'm gonna get that taken care of and then I wanna get started on the next vlog. I don't really know what today is going to entail because I've been like emailing Leia's teachers this morning and just kind of letting them know um, that she, if she does complain about a headache because they said that she might have like headaches and stuff from looking at the screens because they do everything on the laptops. So um, they said that she might have like deal with a headache or whatever. So I was just like emailing them, getting that taken care of, just doing some mommy things today. I just have a lot <laughs> going on. I need to get some things together for my taxes. And this is what I'm choosing to do, sit on the couch and watch Love is and I'm like, I'm not really trying to procrastinate, but I am just exhausted. So I'm just giving myself a slight break. And today the weather's supposed to be like in the 50s. So maybe if Leia's up for it, we'll go for like a little walk or whatever. But I don't really have much that we're gonna get into today. I just need a little breather. So that's what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. 